a single reservoir system, the front and rear brakes are operated on one single hydraulic line. In a dual reservoir system, the front and rear brakes are independent. In a single reservoir, if there is a hydraulic failure anywhere in the line, you will have a complete brake failure and the vehicle will not stop. However, in a dual reservoir system, the front and rear brake systems are on two separate and independent lines. So, if there's a failure in the rear brakes, the front brakes will retain hydraulic pressure and you will be able to stop the vehicle. If you are installing four-wheel disc brakes, you will need to remove both residual pressure valves. To remove the valves, unbolt the nut and remove the valve and spring. Be sure to replace the cone-shaped metal pieces. The first step in removing the master cylinder is to unhook the brake pedal from the push rod. You will need to upgrade your push rod. Your stock push rod will not work. Crawl under the dashboard, remove the spring, push the pin through the pedal. The rod will then be free for removal. Locate the two bolts on the master cylinder and remove them. The new master cylinder will install directly in the old holes. Install the reservoirs, reattach the push rod to the brake pedal, and your installation is complete. You will need to bench bleed your master cylinder to remove any air. You can perform this operation in a bench vise or we've chosen to mount the master cylinder in the vehicle and perform the bleeding in position. We do this with a remote bleeding pump. Because we have not completed our front and rear brake installation, we are screwing on plugs in the bottom of the outlet ports. Next, remove the plastic covers. Crack the valve after you place the plastic tube over the outlet. Activate the hand pump until you no longer see air coming out of the master cylinder. Retighten the bolts, remove the tube, and replace the cap. If you press on the brake pedal, it should not move at all. Unscrew the rear brake line from the connection. Unscrew the brake supply line from the bottom of the connector. Here you see the finished product. We have plugged the hole where the rear brakes used to go and have ran a new line to the master cylinder to operate the front brakes. We have cut off about six inches of the old rear brake line, installed a union and ran a new line to the master cylinder. Note. The rear brake fluid reservoir will hit the bottom of the air cleaner. Join us in future videos. We'll be upgrading the disc brakes, bleeding the brakes, and troubleshooting. If you found this video helpful, subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.